Hello families and welcome to this week's update. As promised, it's a big one. I've got information about our uniform consultation and also our school day consultation. They're coming a little bit later, so you are going to have to watch through until the end if you want to find out about those. I have got Jo Gittens here with me today. Um, jo is one of our um, our parents at the school and she's recently taken on the role of chair of our local academy board. Jo, welcome. Hello. How have you been found being in the meetings with us? Yeah, very good, very interesting. Getting a good insight into the running of the school and what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's our year nine parents evening tonight and you're here supporting us, aren't you? Yeah, so I've just come in tonight to speak to as many parents as I can, understand a little bit about what they think of parents' evening and the school in general. Yeah, and hopefully lots of good feedback and ideas for us to help to continue to improve things. Yeah, yeah, lots of good positive feedback as well, yeah. Good, good, thank you. And you've also been part of this, you mean you get a, a bit of a sneak peek into things like uniform and the school day and what that's going to look like. A little bit, yeah. Good, so glad that we've managed to get lots of feedback from you all on that. Now, we've had some fantastic things going off this week. We've had careers week, um, and there's been a range of activities for all year groups, employers coming in, um, careers activities, CV writing, all kinds of things that are gonna support students in their future endeavors. My personal favorite was the year 10 mock interviews, where every single member of year 10 had the opportunity to be interviewed um, by a local employer. And lots of them I know were really nervous to start with, but I think they found real value in that. And it's great practice. It's never too early to start practicing those interview skills. We also had Ofsted with us this week for a short monitoring visit. We had the first of those in December uh, and they came again this week. Now they were incredibly, incredibly positive, uh, remarking on all of the improvements that we made and the impact that we were having um, and, and just how kind and polite and eloquent the students were talking about the change and about their learning here at Dixon's Unity. Now they're gonna send us a letter in the coming days and I'm sure it's gonna be incredibly positive and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you when it does come. Next week, we've got all kinds of things going off uh, recognition-wise, lots of recognition next week. We've got the attendance recognition events. Um, students are going down to the View Cinema. Now, if you have, um, if your child is going, please log on to Parent Pay and make sure you tick all of the consent forms there um, so that they can go. Uh, if you're struggling to access Parent Pay at all, if you just nip into our reception, um, all of the admin team there are ready and primed to help you to make sure that you can access that. We've also got our platinum party on Wednesday and my favourite event, the recognition evening on the Wednesday afternoon, where I'm going to be seeing lots of you to celebrate the success of your children over the last cycle. Now, just before I share details of the school day, um, I need your help. And the vast majority of students behave in school and out of school. We have unfortunately had a minority of students not quite getting it right in the local area. And that quite rightly has led to some of the local residents to complain to the academy. So please do discuss with your child their, um, the expectations around social behaviour and around behaviour in the community. And let's all work together to uphold the reputation of the academy. Now, you've waited long enough. So school day from September 2024. The academy day will be starting at 8.20 and it will finish at 3 o'clock. Now that is later than it is now, but earlier than we had originally consulted on. And the reason for that is that Wingate Primary School, just down the road, um, we felt that having a clash in the start and finish times there um, would not be positive, particularly for the how busy the road is. Um, so we've adjusted the start and finish time to make sure that there are no clashes there. Some of the concerns that were raised uh, in the initial consultation we've amended, lessons are going to remain at 55 minutes. So there's no learning time lost there. Um, and also... Um, students were concerned potentially about the start time of Breakfast Club. Now, Breakfast Club and entry to the academy will start from 7.50, which is later than it is at the minute. And I recognise that that is going to mean a change of morning routine for some families. Having benchmarked these things against other schools in the local area, that's still quite a little bit earlier than most of the local schools. The, the school day is longer than most of the local schools and therefore learning time um, it is more here than it is at most of the other academies in the area. Finally, as part of that, we're going to enrich our um, clubs and our intervention offer after school, um, and that's only to be the benefit of the students. So more clubs, more intervention, more into enrichment after school, which I think is positive for everybody. So that's the school day. Just in highlights there, it's an 8.20 start, which is 20 minutes later than it is at present. 
and a 3 p.m. finish, which is 10 minutes earlier. Oh, I forgot the other thing, break time. I didn't mention break time. Break time is going to be five minutes longer from September. Again, that wasn't in the original consultation. That was something that came through from your feedback. And you wanted a slightly longer break time, more time to use the toilet, more time to ensure that you could get a snack if you wanted to. So that will what will happen from September. Um, finally, school uniform from September. We had over, how many did we have? 250 responses. 50% of people who responded wanted to remain with the shirt and blazer or jumper combination, which surprised me. I was all set to go for polo shirts, but you said you wanted to remain with that shirt and blazer jumper combination. 60% wanted a round neck jumper versus uh, the V-neck jumper that is at present, and, and I think that's really positive as well. And over 80% of people who responded wanted more choice. And so we tried to capture all the elements of that feedback um, to go with what our uniform will be from September. And what that looks like is students will be able to select from a blue, a black, or a grey blazer and or jumper. That means that students can have whatever choice they want, they don't need to change at the end of year nine. There's no necessity to have a different colour for different year groups. Um, so there's no additional cost there. Now, V-neck jumpers will still be allowed to be worn, but they, they won't be sold anymore. So you don't have to go out and buy a new uniform until you're ready to do so in that natural cycle. So just to be clear, the uniform will be black shoes, black trousers, a white button shirt and a blue, black or grey jumper and or blazer. And it's any combination of those colours that you would like. Finally, very, very finally, I know I've said finally once, but very, very finally, Thursday is our final day of term. 12.20 is the finish time. You may well need to adjust um, pickup times as required. Um, and next week, I will remind you of the arrangements for returning to school after our two weeks of the Easter break. Once again, thank you. Any final comments? Nope. <laughs> no, thank you very much for coming today. We've had some great feedback um, and I look forward to seeing some of you next week, but all of you in the coming weeks. Thank you very much.